Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, Team AJ, Team Big Femi, they're trying to sort it out for AJ. And they're trying to sort it out by just jumping from trainer to trainer. And AJ now, it looks like he's going to be working with Roy Jones. As they reveal, he's set to uh, start doing some trial training with AJ for his comeback. And Roy Jones is saying, <clears throat> and he agrees with AJ that he's <clears throat> going to be a free spirit, not tying himself down to a single coach. And I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that, right? Um, you see, Big Femi, right? AJ we're talking about, right? He is a, a specimen, okay? He is a special fighter. His mind is gone. This guy doesn't need Roy Jones. He needs more of a Teddy Atlas. Because it's not about him not being able to fight. It's about up here. Teddy Atlas. Michael Moore. Teddy Atlas. Tim Bradley. Okay? The fireman speech with Tim Bradley. Your kid speech with... Michael Moore, right? He needs to come and have that conversation with Anthony Joshua. He doesn't need to be bouncing from boxer to boxer. Roy Jones, we all know Roy Jones may, may be, he probably, I would say he was the most athletic boxer ever. The shit he used to do in the ring, right? Just had to keep it real. Give him his respect. Give him his props. But at the same time, not everybody can do what he used to do, bouncing around the ring, throwing shots, hands down by his knees, shooting uppercuts from weird angles, then throwing a hook off of it. I mean, just the wild swinging array of boxing and cock fighting that he was able to kind of coalesce into his style. You just can't take a fighter and, and, and create that. Now, I will say what Eubank Jr., was able and is able to do a lot of that stuff, and he looks uh, Roy Jones-esque in his fights since training with Roy Jones. He learned a lot from Roy. But you can't tell me he's going to take Big Femi, 250, 60 pounds, and have him dance uh, floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Get the hell out of here with that, man. And the fact that Anthony Joshua wants to bounce from coach to coach, be a free spirit. Look, and this is the thing, right? If if you have a Mercedes Benz, okay, and you're driving it, and it's driving, it's working, but you find it's not performing the way it did the last couple of years, okay? What are you gonna do with that Mercedes Benz? To go and get it a tune-up or maybe it's a part need to be changed? You don't take it to the Ford dealership. You don't go take it to the BMW dealership. You got your Mercedes, you're riding. You don't say, well, shit, let me take it over to the Rolls Royce dealership. No, a Mercedes is a Mercedes. You need to take it with the take it back to the manufacturer of people who specialize in that particular brand of vehicle. And Roy Jones is not that. For that AJ style. And the way AJ was and where he had the most success, which is being a killer, he didn't go back with his original trainer, in my opinion. Or he needs to be with someone like a Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach is all about the knockout. Sugar Hill is all about the knockout. Robert Garcia is all about the knockout, but Robert Garcia was scared to speak up because Robert Garcia was out of his element. Robert Garcia went out there to get a check, and he did show Anthony Joshua a lot, but Robert Garcia, had there was another voice in AJ's head as well. It was too many damn voices, okay? As a result, they were sitting there misleading AJ. They had the right game plan. They gave him the tools necessary, but they didn't push him and didn't, didn't, didn't motivate him to do the things he needed to do because they were lying to him. You won that round. My man, it's a close fight. You're getting hit more than you're hitting the other guy. You're probably not winning. And Anthony Joshua, when he did let his hands go, when he was being more aggressive, we saw what happened. He backed Yusick up in that second fight. He was, he was touching him. He could have knocked him out. But he got the wrong people in the corner. So 
Robert Garcia is about to knock out, but for that fight, I just think Robert Garcia's hands were kind of tied, and he was scared to really speak up. And plus, they said Anthony Joshua didn't listen. It was hard trying to get him to understand what they were trying to, uh, the plan they were trying to implement. So they said the training camp wasn't the best training camp because Anthony Joshua was stubborn as hell. That's just what Robert Garcia and that other trainer said, okay? These aren't my words. So the story is, if Roy Jones is going to train him, my thing is, <clears throat> will he will he be the right fit for for Anthony Joshua? Now, if he's not, I don't know what Anthony Joshua is going to do, but he got to figure something out because you can't have Eddie Hearn eyeing. Well, Dillian White doesn't matter. I think Joshua knocks Dillian White out with no problem. But you can't have Eddie Hearn eyeing a fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua is bouncing between trainers trying to figure out. What, what what's the best approach for him? What's the best training regimen? What's the best style for him? We all know what brought him success is being Big Femi. Not floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, <clears throat> trying to be a boxer. No, look at the size of him. When you're that big, that powerful, that fast, that athletic, you don't come in there and dance and make it a tickling contest. You come in there and you just totally destroy what's in front of you. Frustrating as hell to me, man. But, you know, Roy Jones is going to jump at the opportunity. You know, he he was a great fighter. I just don't think he's a great trainer. I think he can train, but I don't think he's a great trainer. You know, not all fighters are meant to be trainers. Okay? But it is what it is. But what he's doing with Eubank Jr., you know, he, he transformed him. He, he, I'll give him that. Eubank Jr. is looking, looking, looking good. He doesn't look better than he looked before. I like the Eubank Jr. before that was coming through and just dismantling people. But, again, he, he's athletic, so he's able to adopt a new style, and he's doing pretty good with it. Not sure how he's going to do when he gets in there with, I think it's Caleb Smith. Not sure what's going to happen with all that. Or, I don't know which. It's one of the Smith brothers he's supposed to be fighting. Not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see. But, with his, uh, <clears throat> with his whole coaching thing being up in the air, we just don't know what's going to happen, man. I think he needs to go back to Robert McCracken, in my opinion. That's just me. We already talked about Robert Garcia. Robert Garcia is a great coach. I just think he, his hands were tied and he wasn't comfortable with being himself. He was out of his element, and I think he really had his mind on his fighters back home. And when you got a guy like Joshua who doesn't want to listen, it just made it that much harder <clears throat> for him to, um, to, to try to train him. But now you look at him. Joshua feels like, you know what, I'm in a position to work with whoever I want to work with. So we'll see what happens. But he's looking at Roy Jones. And I'm, I'm just not thinking, I'm just, I just don't think that's it. That's it. But it looks like he's going to try it out. If it works, he's going to stick with it. I don't know. But as far as the trainers, I don't know, man. You guys have to leave a comment and let me know who you think is the best trainer for Anthony Joshua. I'm going to tell you, for Big Femi, and I, I don't know if... Um, if this guy can fit him in. But Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach has had, he's an expert at this. He's, does it, he's not good at developing guys from the ground up. Who the hell has Freddie took from an amateur to a pro and had success? None that I'm aware of. But he can take pro fighters and he can evolve them. That's what he's good at. Taking guys with experience and evolving them. So to me, Anthony Joshua needs to go at Freddie Roach. Or Sugar Hill. But Freddie Roach or Sugar Hill, that's what I think. I'm just not sure Freddie Roach can handle Anthony Joshua's power. You know, Freddie Roach is up there and he got that Parkinson's disease. Right? You don't need for Anthony Joshua one of those damn, you know, big Femi bombs to stray left and touch Roach. Roach will be out, won't he? But that being said, we'll see what, what, what AJ is going to do. I just don't think. I mean, I guess we'll wait and see. But again, it's a trial type thing he's, he has going on with uh, Roy Jones. In addition, he reserves the right to go and seek uh, training elsewhere. <clears throat> I just don't think that's what you want to do and keep bouncing around like that. You know, you got to be some consistency, man. You got to have be some expectation management. And I just think with him right now, he's just in the breeze. And that's not a good thing, especially if you're trying to put him in the ring with Wilder. Look at how Andy Ruiz has fought when he left um, – Manny Robles and went over with Canelo, trying to be the big heavyweight Mexican Canelo. He was thinking too much about throwing his shots. Nothing was instinctive. 
Ryan Garcia left his trainer, went with Canelo, and then looked good. Left and went with Joe Goose and didn't know what the hell he was doing. He now seems to be settling down. But when you have fighters, look at Oscar De La Hoya. He was a beast. Then he left his trainer, and then he went to Mayweather, and this person, and that person, and this person, and that person. It was never the same as how he looked, man. His first, like, what, 30 fights or so when he was fighting underneath that one coach. Want to give him up because he got his ass whipped. Shane Mosley, Felix Trinidad. Stupid. They, he should have never left him. So what I'm saying is when these guys start bouncing around, that's when things start falling apart. Uh, and you got to remain consistent. You got to remain consistent. But in my, that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys have one. That being said, leave your comments below. Shout out to the veterans. Shout out to everybody from all seven continents. Appreciate the support. You guys want to hit that super thanks button. I'd appreciate it. PayPal and Cash App is in the description. As always, y'all keep cool and I'm in the breeze.